Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's action meeting. Um, first, we're going to start off with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, for executive session, I'll let you know that we did not meet in executive session tonight, so there is no report to give. Moving on uh, to the audience of citizens. Audience of citizen guidelines are as follows. This meeting is being videotaped for community cable channels. Individuals attending this meeting and attending to speak to the board should be aware that they are being videotaped. In order to meet the requirements of Pennsylvania Sunshine Law, it is necessary to record the names of all citizens who speak to the board during the meeting. To assure compliance with this requirement, it is essential that those planning to address the board come to the microphone, state their name and address, and sign the audience of citizens logbook. Members of the audience are asked to limit their questions and comments. To allow time for those who wish to speak to the board, the board president may ask an individual to yield the microphone to the next speaker. Anyone who would like to give public comment at this time? Seeing none, we will move on then to roll call. Mr. Scrocchi? Okay, Mrs. Stoll? Here. Mr. Diazio? Here. Mr. Fusco? Here. Mr. Casa? Here. Mrs. Perkowski? Here. Mrs. G? Here. Ms. Ott? Here. Mrs. Romich? Here. And Mr. McMain? Here. Nine present. Okay, moving on then to the election of a temporary president. I'd like to nominate Jonathan Casa. I'll second that. Are there any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, this is an opportunity for nominations for president for one year term. I nominate Tina Stoll. Second. Uh, it'd be uh, nominated by Chris, Mr. Fusco, seconded by Ms. Gee. All in favor? Aye. 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 The motion passes. I just want to say thank you to everybody again for entrusting me with this position. Um, so last year we had seven new members, which I think is an unusual situation to say the least. I don't know, Dave, do you have a lot of boards that have seven new members in one year? It's happened. It's happened? Well, so uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody for uh, working with us, especially the administration. I think uh, we kind of all got thrown in the deep end of the pool last year. So, and um, you know, I'm sure we might have caused you some tenuous moments at some time. So thank you for guiding us and um, getting us on our feet. So we really appreciate all the work that you guys did. And, uh, you know, hopefully this year will be even smoother. So we'll see. Um, okay. Moving on then to the election of the vice president. Um, so for one, I would like to thank um, Mr. Diazio for his service as vice president this year. Again, with the seven new members to the board, he was uh, really invaluable to us with being an experienced one. And I will always be grateful to him for his assistance in getting us up and running. We really appreciate that. Um, so that said, Ed and I spoke last week. And uh, with his lot of work and some commitments coming up this year, we felt that it might be a good time for him to step back a little bit from his leadership position. 
So while he will attain the chair of finance committee, he's going to step down as the vice president. So therefore, I'd like to nominate Christian Fusco as the vice president for this year. And second that. So second it by Mr. Casa. Uh, are there any comments or questions or any other nominations? Any? OK, so seeing no comments or questions, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. So thank you. Congratulations, Christian. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Condolences. All right. <laughs> what do you say? Condolences. Condolences? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Congrats, Ed. So, okay. All right. Moving then on to the um, Joint Operating Committee member. I think right now, um, Mr. Diazio, you had that, right? Uh, yes. I believe it's my term that's expiring. Uh, I'd actually like to nominate... Uh, Mrs. Romich to uh, take my term or take my seat. I think it goes to 2021, right? Yeah. Second that. Second that. Okay. okay. Nominated. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is that good? All right. Nominated by Mr. Diazio and seconded by Ms. Ott. Any other nominations? Comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations, Mrs. Romich. Personnel. We do have one item. Um, I recommend the approval of Ms. Shannon Schmidt as Assistant Director of Human Resources for a term of three and a half years, effective January 7th, 2019, and the approval of the employment agreement with Ms. Schmidt, a copy of which is on file in the office of the Chief Financial Officer. So moved. Second. Second. Motion by Mr. Diazio and seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Shannon is with us this evening, and uh, she can give a little wave there. And uh, you're welcome. I'm sure she'll be available after the meeting for everybody to do some introductions. So welcome. Thank you. That's the only uh, superintendent's item I have. OK. The next thing then would be um, under other business that would be for the 2019 meeting calendar. Uh, I think the schedule of meetings is attached. We don't have to approve that, right? That's just I think we as do. is, right? I think we the do. board actually approved that back at the May meeting, I believe, May or June of 2018. So okay. it's just for information. Gotcha. Thank you. I think this is what we discussed the other night at the ECP meeting, right, Christian, where it's uh, the school year starts, or Mr. No. No, Dr. Bauer? No. 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 Oh, no, this, this is the committee. Gotcha, gotcha. This is the committee. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, sorry. That other sorry, item will be in front of me next. Uh, gotcha. All right. Board committees. Um, that link is not quite right, Mr. Scrocky. There were some changes made in August, so can I send that to you the, uh, so sure. I can get updated on the website? We did make the one update today on the personnel committee. Okay. Uh, we did add Mrs. G to the personnel committee. Right. So... I'm assuming now with the new vice president, uh, typically the vice president serves on that committee, so Mr. Fusco would be added to the personnel committee now as well. Right, and I think there was uh, with, I'm sorry, Tim? ECP. ECP, yeah, the ECP one. Um, Mr. McBain is on that, and Mrs. Ramich is on support services. Correct. We'll make those changes. Yeah. No, okay. Thank you. Great, thank you. Additional topics. Um, I did have one topic I wanted to bring up. Um, the PSBA offers a board self-assessment tool. And uh, I have that information sent to me from the PSBA if the board of directors would be interested in doing a self-assessment. Um, it's a relatively minimal expense. But what they do is they send out a survey through SurveyMonkey to all nine board members and the um, superintendent as the 10th board member. And uh, it's mostly multiple choice questions, but there are some essay questions at the end. And then they uh, analyze it, and they come back, and they do a one to two hour presentation for us. The MCIU, um, Tina Valletto, she also emailed me. They're working on something that will be out in January. So I'm going to send out an email to you guys tomorrow to see if you guys are interested in doing something like that. But I think that would be a good tool for us, especially since we're still relatively new. The cost is minimal. 
So I'm not sure what the MCIU one would be, but um, the PSBA one is $600. Okay. Does anyone else have any other topics to discuss tonight? Mm -hmm. All right, audience of citizens, would anybody like to make public comment? Okay. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. Thank you. Gilmer was predicting 18.